Hi. Well, here's a nice little revolver for you. This is a Smith & Wesson Model 617-6. Now, I believe this is the latest version of the 617. Of course, these are 22 long rifle. I'll need markings to show up. This particular one is a 10 shot. Find your serial number and your model designation there under the crane. And I believe these days they only make these in 4 and 6 inch barrels. They used to make them in 8 and 3 eighths. And for the life of me I've never figured out why they felt the need that put a full underlug on the barrel of a 22 but that is the way they make them these days and it does have one of these silly damn locks on it but almost all the Smith and Wessons do nowadays uh, a lawyerized uh, gun <laughs> and Normally people are saying that um, the quality on the new Smith & Wessons is not nearly as good as the old ones. And to a degree that's true. But mostly it's in the finish. They don't put as much effort into uh, polishing uh, guns as they used to. But as far as the action on it, the action is actually pretty decent. Single action trigger is very, very light, nice and crisp. And the double action is pretty good. Could be a bit better, but uh, better than you find on most revolvers. Does have uh, blued um, sights to make it easier to pick up the sights. And these newer grips that they're putting on them nowadays, just to look at it, they look kind of clubby. And don't look like they would be very comfortable in the hand. But actually, once you get a hold of it, you find that those grips are very uh, good. At least, uh, at least for somebody with the size of hands that I've got anyway. But I wanted to give you a quick look at this thing, a little overview of it, and I want to do an end of video shout out, and this one's for Bill Gowdy, and I'll put a link to his channel in the description of the video. If you get a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.